Welcome back to the Sean McDermott Show, and it's time to take a look back at the tape from the Bills' historic performance against the Patriots in the wild card round with our good friend Eric Wood. E, the Bills basically played a perfect game on Saturday night, but what stood out to you the most? And it's hard to pinpoint one thing with a performance like that. Obviously, when you look at Josh Allen, and he had more touchdowns than incompletions, that's a performance we need to take a look at, as well as a couple long runs from him as well. You have Dawson Knox and Devin Singletary. They both add two touchdowns apiece. And then the defense came up in a big way as well. They add two interceptions and one absolutely incredible one by Micah Hyde. All right, well, let's just start with Josh's first touchdown to Dawson Knox. Josh said after the game he thought he was throwing it away, and then Dawson comes down with it. How would Dawson get open, and was he open enough to make this play? Well, when you look at it, Dawson Knox is on the top of the screen all by himself, and he's working one-on-one, -on -one, but Josh is working the bottom of the screen first. He's working his three wide receiver set to the bottom, and that's where he wants to go, and he doesn't see anything open down at the bottom for a touchdown. Josh shows incredible patience, and as he goes to scramble outside the pocket, the man who was in spy on him gets blocked by Spencer Brown, which creates even more time for him. Dawson just continues to work, and I'm not sure if I believe Josh or not. I've seen him throw balls out of the back of the end zone and then go much further and much out of the reach of one of the players. But great play by Dawson Knox to get this first touchdown of the game. Yeah, and then on the ensuing possession, the Patriots were driving, and Micah Hyde comes up with this incredible interception to flip the momentum. What would you see on this one? Well, the Patriots assume they have a touchdown in this play, and honestly, we did in the booth as well. Murph originally called it a touchdown, and, and that's what it looked like. You have a double move on the outside, and Levi Wallace is toast. Mac Jones delivers a good ball. It's not an underthrown ball. You just have the best center field safety in the entire NFL. And Mike even said after the game, he didn't get his best break on the football, but good safeties will go and bat that ball away. A great one, a truly elite safety like Micah Hyde. He comes away with the game-changing interception. And then the Bills get the ball on the 20, go 80 yards to take a 14 to nothing lead. Josh connected with Dawson Knox again, second time in the first quarter, and this one's from 11 yards out. The Bills are going to use hard play action here. And when you have the pulling guard come around, you have Ryan Bates coming around, that's going to suck those linebackers up. You then have the play fake in the backfield. Dawson Knox is simply one-on-one -on -one against the safety. Josh leads him to the inside, and that's an easy touchdown there. Yeah, and then this time the Bills got the ball with just under four minutes in the half, and they went 89 yards in just four plays to take a 27-point lead. They capped it off with this nice 16-yard run by Devin Singletary. Break this one down. So we're going to start off with a short motion by Gilliam to the left side of the formation. Then Isaiah McKenzie is going to come across the formation with the fake jet sweep motion. And what that does is it actually adds another blocker to the play side of that play. You get great lead blocks coming up by Ryan Bates, by Reggie Gilliam. Devin Singletary does the rest on this counter run. And then after the half, the Patriots were moving the ball again, and Matt Milano tipped a ball that was picked by Levi Wallace. Break this one down. Yeah, this is an interesting coverage by the Buffalo Bills. They're obviously in man coverage at the top of the screen. At the bottom of the screen, it's hard to say if they're truly in man or if they're in some type of zone concept. Either way, Matt Milano does a great job of keeping his eyes in the backfield and then breaking on this ball thrown by Mac Jones, tipping it up in the air, and then you have Levi Wallace there, right place at the right time. Yeah, and then the Bills turn it around and Josh hooks up with Emmanuel Sanders for a 34-yard touchdown. What did you see on this nice play? So at the top of the screen, we're gonna have Joe John Williams guarding Emmanuel Sanders, and Josh Allen loves this matchup. He is a bigger cornerback, 6'2", 215 pounds. And when Jalen Mills was out of the game prior to the start of it with COVID, this was a matchup they were gonna to try to exploit. Emmanuel Sanders had been out the last few weeks. He has extremely fresh legs. He shows off his elite speed here, simply runs a go route, a little fade route on the outside, and Josh Allen hits him in the stride for the easy touchdown. All right, now let's move into the fourth quarter as Josh hits Gabe Davis from 19 yards out on another incredible throw. What'd you see on this one? So on this play, they're gonna simply use a motion across the formation so they get Diggs coming across. They know it's man-to-man -man coverage at this point. 
Josh does the fake to Devin Singletary. It brings that safety up at the bottom of the screen. And when he voids that zone and Josh is going to get Gabe Davis on the outside one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to execute a throw to the inside, leads him to the inside based upon the corner having outside leverage, and Josh delivers the ball for the score. Great stuff as always, Eric. Thanks for this. Yeah, my pleasure, Steve.